over there. Working on the negative space, part two. As you see, I've come along a little bit over here. We have three layers, the background and the negative space. Here's the background. Okay, here's your negative space, and this is the transparency is down on this. Here's your transparency. It's just a white rectangle. And then where we're doing the painting is in, in this layer here. So all the painting's done in here. So all you have to use in this layer here is the paintbrush, color black, and the eraser. I'm going to try to do the teeth some in the mouth. Well, maybe I don't know if I'm going to do the teeth. I'm going to try to do the mouth without the teeth. Because if you look at these, a lot of them have the mouth closed. Here's one with teeth. So we'll see. Let's see what I can do here. I don't know. Let's try it. Zoom in. I'm work in this area right here. Sometimes less is more. Notice my nose. Let's show this. Okay, make sure we're in this layer here. Let's get, let's drop the size down of this. Get my paintbrush. Let's drop the size down to, I'm going to go about five here. Real careful. Don't want this to look like the Joker, so you have to be careful with this. Color this in. Now, if you're wondering if I'm making this look easy, this is the third time I've attempted this. So I've worked out a couple of uh, little errors that I've done. All right, so let me uh, drop the size down of this brush. There is a keyboard shortcut that the comma will drop it down. And the, uh, the period will increase it back up. But as you notice, it goes up by 10. So that's sort of a pain in the butt. We don't want it to go up by 10. I want something like this, like four to this spot here. And this here, what you may have to do is do it, hide it, and then see what you have. Does not look very so horrible, but could be improved a little bit, I think. I think like in this area or over here. Sometimes you have to do this without the picture showing. And if there's anything you want to clean up on it, you could always get the eraser and watch the size here. Okay. This is the part I'm kind of struggling with right here, but it doesn't look that bad. Let me see the teeth. So, yeah, let me zoom in here. Okay, let's get the paintbrush.
I'm just going to go all over what I see pink here. So I can make this look better. Let's see. Not horrible. But that's what you have to do here with these pieces. You have to sort of play around with them. As for the teeth, this is well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, so I think I'm going to leave the teeth. I'm going to practice with the teeth before I show you. Notice I, I made the clip in the hair. Basically, I made that I, once I painted this, I sort of made that with the eraser, just erasing like a, a little hair clip there. But you want to try to get this, you know, looking at, as close as you can. Bring this, the uh, opacity back up of this. I'm going to play around with the mouth a little more, but what you have to do is look at it, um, take away, put on there. Here's my original for a comparison. Okay, so I, I, I do have some work to do in the mouth, but, but that will give you an idea of what you have to do. Put some on with the paintbrush, take a little off with the eraser. Let me uh, show you one more time here. Maybe I'll do something like this. Zoom in. Get the paintbrush. Okay, go around. Zoom in. Go slowly. Okay, hide that. There you go. So that gives you enough to uh, play around with. Let me know if you have any questions.